The Delicious Bug by Janet Perlman. Please like, share, and subscribe. One delicious bug, two foolish chameleons, and a pair of hungry crocodiles. Isn't anyone willing to share? Will peace be restored in the rainforest? It was a quiet and peaceful day in the forest. The beaky bird was feeding berries to her babies. The lemurs were munching on leaves. The tomato frog was catching bugs. Splash! Or at least he was trying. The chameleons, Willie and Wally, were experts at bug catching, and often they shared schloop, kerschloop. You are too kind. See them give their bug to the frog? <laughs> they were hanging out by the pond when an especially plump and delicious looking bumblebug flew by. Willie and Wally smacked their lips. Mmm, lunch, said Willie. Yum, said Wally. Flip, flop, flip, flop. And then a rare thing happened. Kerblap! They both caught the bug at the same time. The two good friends started to laugh. How amusing. Willie sputtered. It was hard to speak with his tongue sticking out, so it probably sounded like, How amazing! <laughs> Quite amazing, really, Wally slobbered. Now, would you mind letting go? Willie was surprised. But I saw it first. You did not. Did two. Did not. Did two. Did not. Did two. Not two. They went back and forth like this for a while, and as they did, they got more and more annoyed. Willie gave a little tug, Ugh. and so did Wally. Before long, they were pulling each other back and forth around the forest, over an anthill, under a tortoise, past a family of shrews, and right up a tree. I must keep holding on. I mustn't let go. An even plumper and juicier bumblebug came along, but they weren't interested. Oh. Willie and Wally were getting very angry. They tried to stare each other down. They snarled ferociously. Arr! They puffed themselves up and made scary faces. Just back off, slobber face. Why don't you back off, dragon lips, crinkle tail, skunk cabbage? By now, all the animals in the forest were watching. This had become embarrassing. The two chameleons were furious. First, there was a slap, then a pulled tail. And soon, it was a full-scale battle. They became a whirlwind of fists and feet, punching and kicking, pinching and scratching. Then, they started throwing things. Whap! Kerplunk! Blam! We're moving. The chameleons were so hopping mad that they completely forgot about the bug. Suddenly, it escaped. Willie and Wally froze. Their bulging eyes searched frantically in all directions. There, just below them, flip-flop, flip-flop, 
Oh, they scrambled to get the bug. Willie and Wally lost their balance, and down they tumbled. Down, 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 straight toward the jaws of two hungry crocodiles. Just in time, Willie grabbed hold of a branch and of Wally. Sproing, sproing. The crocodiles opened their mouths wider. Willie and Wally had to act fast. Yum, lunch. You take the blue one. I'll take the green one. Wally had an idea. He started to swing back and forth higher and higher until they were swinging as high as they could. Then he gave the word and Willie let go, sending them flying through the air. Huh? Poor crocodiles. Looks like they're going to miss lunch. <laughs> they landed safely in a clump of leaves. Kerflump, kerflop. Phew! The chameleons felt very foolish. How stubborn they'd been. Willie turned to Wally. You can have the next bug, Wally. That's okay, Willie. You can have it. They said they were sorry and shook tails. Friends again. Slap me five, buddy. Sure thing, pal. <laughs> Just then, the bumblebug returned. Flip-flop, 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 flip-blub. It gave one last feeble flutter and fell from the sky, landing right in front of the tomato frog. The frog rubbed his webbed feet together with glee. I am one lucky duck. He was just about to eat the bug when he had a great idea. The frog laid a table with his finest dishes and silver in the center on a bed of water lettuce, he placed the bumblebug. He then invited Willie and Wally to dinner. When they were seated, the frog divided the bug and put a share on each plate. This bug's on me, he declared. They enjoyed it together and all agreed, yummy, divine, delish. This was the most delicious bug they had ever eaten. After that, Willie and Wally did their best to patch things up. A thousand pardons. A little to the left. A bit more to the right. Schloop. Kersploosh. And before long, the forest was once again a green and peaceful place. <laughs> As Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Thanks for listening. Love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>